You join me in sunny Marbella where it's 21 degrees right now and it's 10.30 a.m. We left Frank de Rola at 9.30 a.m. and took a bus here because today we're planning to go to Rwanda through Marbella so it should be great. We got off right here at a bus stop. This is right beside the market. I did some research online yesterday and this is open every Sunday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And it's meant to be kind of like a vintage second-hand market. Pretty cool stuff. It reminds me of the one in Frank Rolla yesterday, but a more civilized one. Ah, oh, it's a beautiful day. So that was the market I first researched. It was a lot of church shops just selling stuff and for a good cost, like voluntary donations. Pretty great. But now we're going to a proper market that I mentioned and it's meant to be an art side market. So crafts, arts, stuff like that and it's open from 10 to 2. And it's right along the marina. Yeah. Right south from Park de la Alameda, which is the park that we are just at, is the promenade and the beach. And if you're walking towards it, you can see all these statues which are beautiful and are like bronze and are pretty damn old. They're from 1904, that one right there, the one I just tapped. Great stuff. I would love to take um, more pictures of these, but I mean, it's not my style. Ah, beautiful. It's really warm right now, like super warm. This is the marina that I was talking about, it's the smaller one of the two. And here is the arts and crafts market. It's really small today, there's only like four or five tents. But it could be nice. <sighs> Wasn't that nice there? Them boats and just rock in motion, yeah. Very peaceful. We're now going north of Park de la Alameda, which is the park I just showed you, to the old quarters of the town. And there you'll find old churches, museums, old castles and quite a few small shops so it'll be really nice and humble i'm looking forward to it where the square in the old quarters you can see uh, samantha San santa stopping point right here it's absolutely beautiful there's so much nature you can smell the flowers and like it's lively. Gosh. My ball is proving to be an amazing place. And the floor is all cobblestone like stone. People from the procession are right there. And my guess is the procession has its already yet, but we might be here for it, so yeah. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. But anyways, right here is where the main procession is gonna start. And everybody's kind of gathering here. So I'll show you what it looks like now. And yeah, we might stick around for it. Who knows? Massive wizardly camera gear for a tiny little camera there. Pretty cool stuff. So we're not sticking around for the procession for two reasons. It's 11.25 now and we don't know when it starts. And two, We've already been to three processions, so there's no point. My mother has just informed me that right behind that bridge to the left is the main bus station, and we're going right there because we're trying to catch the bus at 12 to Rwanda. It's half 11 now, so we should be fine. If you see where we are right here, this is where the main bus station is. And to cross the motorway and it's a big Estacion Autobus Marbella. Not gonna lie, it was not easy to find this, but now you know, now you know. Take pictures, we take them twice. 
this is a place where we got all our food. The first cakes, uh, whatever you want to call them, were 90 cent each. The second round of cakes that we had two of were 120 each, one year 20 cent. And the coffee, we're not too sure about the price, but it was under one year 50 per coffee. So, I mean, it's, it's amazing. We had seats, we had service, we had waiters, and I heard that everything was delicious and the coffee was, oh, top notch. You can make cafeteria coffee at home, I'll tell you that. We're back in um, Stash on the autobus. Yeah. Marbella. Marbella. And we are currently just waiting for our bus. Um, it's gonna take some time, you know, so we're out here just getting a bit of tan. Um, so he's actually already tanned. Tanning in the shade, yo. So that was just cringe, I know. Okay. Anyway, yeah. So I'll see you in Mar. Where are we going? Rond Ronda. 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 I'll see you in Ronda on the mountaintops where I'm actually going to get proper tanned. Let's talk prices. Our bus, our bus from Frangirola to Marbella costs 3 and 27 That's a single way adult ticket. And from Marbella, which is right here, to Ronda, it's six year and 47 one way so if you add up our journey from frangirola to ronda it's 974 per person not bad at all our bus is a two to ronda so we're going to be waiting here for another 45 minutes at least we have wi-fi and you know charging plugs Do you know that feeling yeah after you drink like one two cups of coffee like black coffee no sugar no milk on anti stomach yeah yeah it starts off with a great phase of you know that high where you get loads of energy you get the jitters and you have great mental clarity but fast forward like three hours right in the middle of the coffee cycle you start going down a hill because you start kind of feeling sluggish you might have a bit of headaches and you normally have like a small stomach cramp. Yeah, I'm, I'm in that stage right now. And there are three ways I know of to kind of clear that. Number one, drink a lot of fluid. Now this is really handy when you're at home, you can just make tea, water, just drink like two, three liters on a spot, amazing. Number two, you can either just like endure it. Just take it like a man, just forget about the cramp and keep going. Or number three, this one is um, the one I'm probably gonna choose right now. And that is just eat some food. And as a pastor, like I don't really eat lunch or breakfast. So this is a bit hard to bear, but it's the easiest and probably the most effective way of doing it. So yeah, I'm gonna eat a baguette. Oh yeah, on the other side of things, I'm in Rwanda. We finally made it. Just like, just like the other towns and cities in Spain, Rwanda has a bottle ring. It's right in the middle of the square. Entrance is seven euro per person. And it's just, you just walk around and go to the museum. Hummus, gherkin, tomato, a bit of spicy ketchup, top notch baguette. So, why are we, why are we in Rwanda? Well, it's meant to be beautiful, that's one. It's very old, rustic, and authentic. Like, look at these cobblestone streets. It's like this everywhere. So, so, so many cobblestone streets. And three, the bridge. The bridge is insane. But yes, we, we are not sure where it is. Right. 
today's town is a nice beach town. But no, we have to go to Rwanda and I'm wearing shorts. Siva. This bridge is insanely high and yeah, it's just wonderful. We've left the South Sea and we're going deep into Rwanda town. It's quite populated but we're not sure where the shops are yet. If I find some I'll show you them and I'll just give you all the links. Today has been a rough day. I may have had an accident, and if I am limping for the rest of this holiday, that's because of that. But anyways, apart from that limp, that wall only did one other thing of damage to me. This little cut here. Oh yeah, also I nearly broke my camera, but uh, you know, it's metal, it's not gonna break. I'm not metal though. It is 5.30 and our adventure concludes for today. We're going to grab the bus home and just chill and friend we roll on now. <laughs> I don't turn this off. Oh my god.